What's up, everybody? Welcome in to a very special talk gaming early morning edition. Um, we could have been here earlier, except for fuck that. Uh, we're gonna. <laughs> that would have been 4 a.m. Courtney's time. <laughs> yeah, and I would have said no. For those wondering, we have emote chat on because we have not seen this Pokemon Presents yet, and we do not want any kind of spoilers. We posted it live last night that we are going in completely blind. We have seen nothing. Also, if you are in our Discord, you probably have been posting in our Pokemon channel. The three of us have been avoiding that channel like the plague so this is going to be a complete blind well i guess uh first time viewing right um yes. it's going to be brand new for us uh uh thank you everyone who's joining us early in the morning well for us it's early in the morning 10 a.m for us uh what time is it for you courtney 8 a.m for me 8 a.m for you if you are not too early i, I would have been like nah fuck that can we, <laughs> can we bump this to like 2 p.m <laughs> well you know i'm used to john say hey can we do this at this time and i'm looking at my clock like you know what whatever okay <laughs> <laughs> We're very, very excited for this. Um, uh, I mean, we we don't want to go too deep in the predictions, but we definitely have some hopes. Uh, 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 Christian, this is your idea, so I definitely want to hear from you first. What do you hope to hear uh, announced uh, today? Um, well, I know you said only one thing, but I have 16 things that I'm hoping for. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm hoping for two things, and granted, I have no, no idea what... what is coming but i'm hoping for i would love them to do the let's go games but for gold and silver oh yeah and i would also mm -hmm. love to hear about an announcement for arceus dlc since okay i think everybody everybody kind of blew through that game pretty quickly yeah uh, <laughs> but yeah those are my hopes what about you well uh what about you courtney um i'm hoping for a new evolution uh okay. ghost type ev with the with oh, the shit. with the brick stone Oh god Just damn it, nice... Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan! There's your ghost type. John! <laughs> no! No? I was like, what's a brickstone? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boomer, brickstone, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Uh, that's how you get a, a, a ghost type EV if you ask me. <laughs> god damn it, John. The, I need the car stone. <laughs> <laughs> Roadkill EV. You're awful. <laughs> so awful. No, just a regular goat bad job from Todd. <laughs> I would. Oh, I got the police sent on me. Oh, Jesus. Nobody liked that answer. Well, OK, my hope and this is going to be really far left field, but I really enjoyed the Detective Pikachu game on 3DS. And I want to hear more about the sequel that's supposed to be coming to the Switch. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping that it's a little bit more uh, open because the, la the first one was very linear. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But first and foremost, before we get started, thank you everyone for being here. I want to say hello to everyone who's throwing emotes in the chat. It's Courtney808. Never heard of her. Shiny Mika Blue. Good to see you. <laughs> Kirby CWL. Queen Buzzard Nation. Uh, Modern Air Gaming. Marcy. Good to see you. Jake P. Good to see you, Jake. Uh, Shattered Rift. Welcome on in. Mr. Addison Jones. Isn't it early for you? I'm so glad you're here. Or maybe it's late. I'm not sure. You know, time zones and such. Um mm. And curiously, Jen, welcome in. Oh, Zenith, Hi, I see you there as well, Zenith. Thank you all so much for being here. And then there's Kikyo. What's going on? Um, Hi. We're gonna get into this, I think. Yeah, let's let's crack let's crack some eggs and all right, and watch watch this shit. Scramble. All right, yeah. chat. If you make can, an omelet. If you can <laughs> if you can behave, chat with the spoilers. I'm turning emote chat off now. I'm gonna avoid reading chat while we watch this. So I think we're gonna I be am. good. All right. I avoid reading chat at all times. All right, let's do this. <laughs> at all times. All right, here we go. All right. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara Wish. from the Pokemon. Look at that fucking Pikachu in the back. I want all that. February 27th <laughs> is the date the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were released in Japan. Marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. We've now reached our 26th oh, year crazy. since the birth of Pokemon, thanks to the support of all you trainers around the world. Thank you, each and every one of you. Thank you. <laughs> Today, we would like to present the latest updates on a number of games. That Pikachu's so, so I hope creepy. you'll watch to the very <laughs> end. Oh, Just... yeah. The dead Mr. Eye, Mr. Please take it away. 
okay, okay, it's not real. Hello, I thought it was real. I'm Takato Utsunomiya <laughs> from the Pokemon Company. Allow me to jump straight into sharing the latest updates with Look you. Look at all those plushies! First is an update on Pokemon Go. Oh. Okay, okay. For you Pokemon Go fans? Pogo. All, all ten of you that are left? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know it's still popular. <laughs> it's the Alola region? Yeah, I think so. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, shit! Yes! <laughs> Pokemon that first appeared in the Alola region of the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games will be appearing in the world of Pokemon Go beginning March 1st. Oh, that's awesome. That's cool. Until then, Alola, Alola oh, Executor <laughs> will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Oh god, that's scary. We hope you'll try catching it them for yourself. Scary. You can't even see the whole fucking Pokemon Yeah, you never screen. could. You can only see its fucking bottom half. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. Okay, that's good. I like his, I like his flannel. I know, yeah. Pokemon Masters. Okay. Is this a mobile game? Yeah. Okay. Yes. This February, Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two and a half year anniversary. Right now, as far as trainers go, there are... A billion. Over 142 in total Jesus. that you can team up with. Wow. Powerful sync pairs from many regions have assembled on Victory Road, okay. oh, our wow. newest feature. By completing Victory Road, not only can you team up with Cygna Suit Red, Cygna Suit Blue, or Cygna Suit Leaf, but you can also receive 5,000 gems. Leaf, a lot of gems. color, but okay. Starting tomorrow, <laughs> May and Latias arrive, with May in a special outfit. This sync pair oh, can turn the field of play into psychic terrain, powering up all psychic type sync though. pairs. Skyla mm -hmm. and Tornadus also debut, with Skyla in a special outfit. Tornadus, this sync wow. pair can turn the field of play into a flying zone. They're skilled at supporting Ooh. flying types and using interference against so opponents. Cute too. And there's more. You'll also be seeing Raihan and Flygon with Raihan in a special outfit. With moves like Sandstorm and Max Flare, they can create several weather Sandstorm, conditions. Sandstorm, John! <laughs> to celebrate the two and a half year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, I gotta be real, most of those names sounded completely made up. No I mean, I know they are, but it just looks like they were like, uh, uh, flagging and, uh, <laughs> to try on. Yeah, this is definitely not news for me. Oh. Yeah. Well. yeah. I mean, now good for you. Yeah. If you, Oops. If you enjoy this. Don't miss out. Yeah, definitely not news for me. But then again, oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. oh wow. Cat will be excited for this. Cafe Remix, she a will. puzzle game where you mix and match alongside Pokemon, introducing oh, delivery, cute. a new way to play. Pelipper will deliver drinks and dishes to Pokemon no. far away and spread word of your cafe. At Pelipper's destinations, you'll have the chance to meet Pokemon that are new to Pokemon Cafe Remix, gather new oh special my outfits, goodness. And unlock hidden specialty gimmicks that yeah, give you an edge. This is a really, really great example Mythical Pokemon of what Victini to do for like appears a Pokemon for the first mobile time game. in Pokemon you know I mean? Cafe Remix That's during so your delivery. Cool. Its powerful skill will be very helpful in the new puzzle mode coming early 2022. Deliver drinks and dishes to Victini That's to have so it join cute. your staff. Additionally, there will be three events to celebrate Pokemon oh. Day. The first okay. event is Bulbasaur's Happy Pokemon Day. <laughs> there will be a seven day special login bonus. And on your first login, you can get Bulbasaur's limited time celebratory crown outfit. For the second event, so there's cute. an increased chance of Shiny Piplup oh, appearing. Starting now, for four days, Shiny Piplup will have a greatly increased chance of showing up at your cafe. Use this, this sounds like a big deal. Have it join your staff. Oh, okay. And for the third event, you can use an 11 times express delivery item at no cost. We'll give All you right. the chance to try out the new delivery feature 11 times. Wow. You won't want to miss this. <laughs> Why 11? The Why 11? The anniversary yeah. of the game approaches this June. Why not 26? Get ready to welcome tons of new Pokemon to the cafe. Yes, have oh, fun playing Pokemon Cafe choke, Remix cool. on both Nintendo <laughs> Switch systems and this smart cute. devices. Oh, here we go. Oh, Pokemon, Pokemon Unite, Unite fans. I know that there's still a few left. Since Pokemon hey, Unite well, best mobile last game July, at the Dice Awards. Nice. Um, the fray. Friday. Together with Friday. unique Pokemon like Dragonite, Aegislash, Ooh. or Greedent, form a team and battle. Oh. Did they just announced new Pokemon. Is that what Fire just happened? Fire off your Pokemon's yeah. moves over and over in new, intense, limited time battles. Full Fury battles. Added today, February 27th. Oh, cool. cool. 
You can try out any Pokemon in standard battles and quick battles on special days posted on the official Pokemon website. I wanted Unite to like this website. game. I tried. It's hard when you don't play There is a Pokemon Day event happening right in now in Pokemon Unite. I thought you guys enjoyed the it. The mythical though. Pokemon Hoopa joins the roster during bit. this event. Hoopa can warp ally what Pokemon Hoopa? to other locations. Hoopa. Use blindsiding oh. team tactics to get the drop on the opposing Hoopa, team. Hoopa, I barely know her. Using Hoopa's Unite move, <laughs> turn into Hoopa Unbound and go wild. Oh, what shit. is that? While the Pokemon so Day event is going on, <laughs> all players can try out Hoopa. Make sure to try out Hoopa. Missions, and you can obtain Hoopa's Unite license. Um, I abstain, but thank you. <laughs> all players that log in now oh, but you get a will cool receive shirt. commemorative Pokemon Day trainer <laughs> fashion <laughs> items. Well, shit, I guess I have to log in today. Use this Pokemon Day event as a chance to experience the heated battles in Pokemon Unite. And finally, enjoy a preview of the next Pokemon that is slated to join Pokemon oh, Unite in this, the future. This caught me off guard. I was Please like, what? Please continue to look forward to more content Ooh. in the future Daraludon. in Pokemon Unite, available on Nintendo Switch Daraludon. and mobile devices. My favorite Next, battery. Allow me to share some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Okay. News? We saw the fuck ton. Is it getting DLC? Could you imagine? It says this game footage not final, but this game's already out, so. I guess it is. Okay. What is that? Shaman? Oh yeah, that's Professor Oak. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Soon, we'll send out Oak's letter, an item that will allow you to encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman within Pokemon okay. Brilliant oh. Diamond and Pokemon okay. Shining Pearl. Okay, so okay. way to catch a, a new Pokemon. Shaman. Okay. Okay. Oh. Claim this item as a mystery gift later, after this yeah. presentation mm. ends. Cool. Okay. Okay. I was like, full DLC. That's weird. Team and enjoy exploring <laughs> the Sinnoh region together. Oh, Alrighty. okay. Next time up, to say. We have some news about the Pokemon Legends Arceus Oh yeah, game. here we go, baby. Here we go. Give me oh, some shoot. DLC. Munchlax. Oh. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Finnick, Finnick Fox. I don't know what it's hey, called. Hey, those are only in the ice. Oh. oh my god, so many. Oh, are there breakouts? Is that what they're... I don't know. I think this is just like, hey, this is what's in the game. That makes sense. <laughs> That'd be funny if they were just like, yeah, Pokemon Legends Arceus is out. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Well, there's so many! Oh, it must be Breakout. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Wait. They were all alphas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Stop okay. Update. okay. Daybreak. Okay. Wow. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Can I catch a Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> Do we look like a bitch? <gasps> what? What the? What the? F That's terrifying. What is that? Why like are they that like that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. We're pleased to announce the Daybreak update for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which will be okay. available to players at no cost. Okay, cool. We'll begin a new cool. investigation into a curious phenomenon that is causing mass outbreaks of Pokemon across the Hisui region. Okay. Jesus. You'll oh also my god, be that was able terrifying. to engage in new Pokemon battles together with your ally Pokemon at the training grounds. Mm, I did notice. I was like, I don't remember the being able to battle. Will be available later after this you can. Presentation ends. I don't. Yeah, people. it's available today. Mm. And so as excited. a Pokemon Day gift, we'd like oh. to offer you some items oh. that should come in handy on your adventure. There's your password, you everybody. Please enter the provided Somebody screenshot that for me! <laughs> to claim this gift. Nice. We hope you continue to enjoy it's your Arceus adventures adventure. in the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to remember that. One more thing. We are pleased to announce that production of an online animated series set in the Hisui region has been available <laughs> in one week in Hawaii. This series God will feature it, an said original storyline and is anticipated Kirby. to launch later in 2022. Well, what is this? Kirby. This is an online animated Please show about the Hisui region. Uh, I'm really sad because he's like, we're also pleased to what announce that development. And I was like, on we DLC. And he was like, no. Nah. Pokemon games <laughs> will continue to evolve in the future. We've shared with you today the latest information about a variety of our games, but to wrap things up, we'd like to end this presentation by sharing one more video. All right, here we go. The one more Thank thing, here we go. One more thing. 
chat room. This the, is this the is Pokemon live Museum. Yeah. What in the? He looks like he's investigating. Is this Detective Pikachu too? <laughs> oh shit! You might get your wish, John. Oh. oh. What? Uh, uh. Okay, what's happening? It's a new Pokemon horror game. Survival horror. This is terrifying. It's game freak. Okay, okay. It's oh. it's PT Pokemon time. Pokemon trainer. Pokemon Pokemon <laughs> trainer. Pokemon testies. No. <laughs> okay, what's what's going on? Whoa, whoa. What? What's it's Hogwarts. <laughs> I think this might be Detective Pikachu too. Like, this looks very detective-y, you know. Doesn't I mean? it? Yeah. Okay. I mean There's this cup of coffee. Right? Yep. Man, get out of there! <laughs> get out! Run! They don't pay you enough! Oh no! I told you, man, it's too late. What's happening? Okay. Oh okay. shit. A new game? What the This fuck? looks huge. That's what she said. I know. <laughs> so I repeated it. It looks kind of modern. All right, what's going on? There's Pokemon centers. Windmills. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. What's happening? What's happening? This, this looks like Arceus. It does. Do we get an update? Oh, that crab was pretty cute. What's going on? I don't it's know. Okay. Okay. Looks like Italy. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. What is this? What is this? This is a new Pokemon. And there's a switch in there. <laughs> What the, what the fuck? That's how I feel. I'm just like, <laughs> what's happening? What is this? What? Is, tell me. Get out of there, man. The door open. Get out. Aww. Oh shit! <laughs> oh my gosh! Of course, I'm choosing the leaf cat. Obviously. Pokemon Scarlet. Oh, okay. Scarlet. And, and Pokemon Violet. Violet. Oh, Team Scarlet oh, all the way. No. Team Scarlet right here, baby. Let's oh, do it. Oh, man. Wow. Late 2022. No. Okay, oh, okay, gosh. okay. All right, I just hope it takes the good stuff from Arceus. That's all I'm saying. Oh, my wow. God. Wow, okay. I think that's it. That is it. Oh, my oh, God. God. What the fuck? I, okay, so chat, I, I need to know, to uh, first of all, what was your favorite announcement and why was it Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <sighs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. Let's go ahead and take a look at what chat is saying. Give me Pirate Duck. The fire type looks so derpy. Give me the middle one. Team Scarlet. Leaf Duck for sure. Weed Cat. I'm copying both. Welcome to Gen 9. Wow. Okay. The, the Palkia horse was the best moment. That was terrifying. Why that was absolutely. Like that? Uh, was oh everything God. in the stream. Uh, he, he, yeah. Oh, man. Scarlet and Violet. I have, I mean, oh, obviously man. this is a great announcement. This is, this is a uh, gen nine as mentioned in chat. This is yeah. uh, a new region. Um, I oh, need oh to God. know more. Obviously it's coming yeah. at the end of 2022, probably a November mm -hmm. game. If I were to guess the trends of Pokemon, right? Right. I, I want this to be a current gen Arceus. That's what I want it to yeah. be. Same. Absolutely. Oh my God. That's, I think. I mean, I think it's silly if they go back to, you know, Field, even what yeah, even mechanic. what Sword and Shield was doing mm -hmm. because Arceus has been received so, so, so well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think if we could at least get a mesh of the classic Pokemon and some of the better elements of Arceus, I think this would be happy. And this would be uh, everyone would be happy. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm actually really excited. Uh, Arceus did something where now I'm excited about Pokemon again. Yes. But only yes. because mm -hmm. of how Arceus played so let's see if they can keep that up I am personally really surprised that we're getting another Pokemon uh, already so yeah soon. yeah 
I'm, I'm, I just, I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait to see what this region has in store. I want to know already what exclusives are for what game. Probably going to end up needing to buy both. I'm, I'm just <laughs> Mr. really. Mr. Addison oh. says Pokemon may have tweeted that it's open world afterwards. Oh man, we got to wow. check those tweets. It gotta definitely check. looked open world just based on yeah. what I saw. You know, added mechanics to it because you know we saw the Meowth walking around. We saw yeah, yeah. That, the snake Pokemon thing just kind of chilling. The Blissey, right, just sitting on the ground sleeping. Like, yep. the concept okay, seems to be there. Here's yep, the official tweet world. from Pokemon. Welcome to the open world of Pokemon. Embark on an open world adventure in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Arriving on Nintendo Switch in late 2022. Red Heart, Purple Heart, hashtag Scarlet Violet. I have, oh, shit. I have to say, open world means a lot. Uh, is it open world in the sense that you can engage in battles like Arceus? That's like the only, mm -hmm. that's the only burning question I have left right now because that's what mm -hmm. I want. I want it to be that open world like i want to be able to toss the pokeball i want to be able to hide in the tall the tall grass all that I, I, that's what i hope they mean by I open be world able to murder pokemon right with my bare <laughs> hands be throw <laughs> shit in the back of their foreheads right yeah exactly wow oh, i'm seeing that cassius uh watched the stream with us and uh tweeted pokemon gen 9 i'm so fucking happy and excited <laughs> 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 so good i'm so i'm so yeah hyped. Uh, here's i i hope so i'm glad that it's open world i'm hoping that my my favorite part about arceus was kind of like the zelda -fying of it where you needed to progress in the story to get mechanics to get to new areas to catch new mm -hmm. pokemon i, like I really too. liked that and that was what i really liked about red and blue and gold and silver you know you had to get the hms to get cut and rock smash yep. and then you could go back so i i mean i'm sure that's what they're gonna do but they did it really really well in arceus and i hope that mm -hmm. it translates to scarlet and violet no and i like that in in arceus when you got new uh, you know mechanics you were able to go back to the previous world and then actually yes. utilize it better and actually get more out of each previous location instead of you know once you blitz through one location it's like okay what's the point of going back I think exactly the, i think the biggest thing missing out of arceus is probably the same argument that people were saying people uh, you know what was really missing from breath of the wild right breath of the wild was missing dungeons and i feel like arceus of course it's 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 very early in the timeline of pokemon it's missing gyms right so yeah. and i think that that's the only thing that can be changed with this going forward because the mechanics are there and i think the mechanics are what should really carry over and the story that gets told should be told from from the viewpoint of a pokemon trainer this time around um yes. open world uh you know trying to build your best team your best possible team because you want to beat the best of the best out there in this case pokemon gyms and victory road and etc 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 all that stuff so yeah so bo 294 says i want to drop kick a meowth off a cliff all that <laughs> World stuff. <laughs> I love it. Kirby says, as hype as I am for Scarlet and Violet, I just hope it's not the same as Arceus because they were they were bas getting basically the same game twice in or sorry, because then we we're getting basically the same game twice in one year. I'm hype. Don't get me wrong, but this could be a really slippery slope for the future. I yeah. mean, even if we get another 20 years of Arceus clones, I think it's still better than getting <laughs> another 20 years, years of Red of and Blue. Original? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, mm -hmm. I think, I can see why Kirby would say that. But for me, I actually kind of want it to be very similar to Arceus, just because we've had the same mode of operations for for Pokemon for like like you said, twenty plus years. It's time to continue evolving it. But they found something that works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's yeah. already been their 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 model for regular Pokemon. So yeah, I want it to be a little bit. I want it to be continued like how Arceus plays. I do. Oh, Kirby, you haven't played Arceus? All right, that's my next recommendation. You beat Metroid, go out and buy Arceus and be really impressed. It made a believer out of me, mm -hmm. someone who's been a, a Pokemon cynic basically since uh, Ruby and Sapphire came out on the, the GBA. So. Uh, I hope they put Ash in a game for once. It's been too damn long. I need Ash in a game. You just name your own character Ash. Yeah. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, and then it, it's a cheat code. If, if, then it if, then becomes if, Ash, <laughs> and then if you name if you name their, your rival Gary, it turns into Gary. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and if you name it uh, cheerleading Gary, it turns into Gary in a cheerleading outfit. Well, now you've gone too far. 
No. And these are these are true hacks for Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I will say that um, we already know, uh, based on this uh, trailer, that we're going to have uh, Pokemon from past gens. Uh, we saw Meowth. We saw Pikachu. What I would have liked, and I know I'm alone on this, is a region with only region-specific Pokemon. They did this for older Pokemon games. People hated it. They wanted their Pokemon. Um, and I really, I want I want Pokemon to, if it, later down the line, obviously it's not happening this time, to say, hey, this is a new region, and these Pokemon are exclusive to this region only, right? Um, so... Uh, I, I'd like to see that again. I'd like to see a lot of Pokemon fans pissed off because of it. And then I'd like to see them bite their tongues after they realize how good of a game it is when you have when you are forced to choose the new Pokemon and not not mm -hmm. uh, not, you know, uh, default back to the Pokemon that you, that they know already. Like if it were up to me, every flying type that I would have would be a Pidgey because I like Pidgeotto, <laughs> right? Or Pidgeot, you know, because it's the first one that I knew if I had mm -hmm. the, you know, but I'm playing Arceus and I have to use Staraptor for my early flying type and i like him i think he's great you know so uh th this is this is just an example you know <laughs> Jake saying, mean, Don, you're not helping them as a shiny hunter well you know <laughs> and uh kirby's saying i want the same thing you're not alone and i'm here to say that john and kirby it's okay to be wrong <laughs> oh yeah um, <laughs> it's okay to be wrong i like no, my I, pokemon I, get... I like my <laughs> pokemon yeah i get what you're saying because as i'm playing through arceus it's really hard for me to not just default to the pokemon that i know and that's like. it yeah and but at the same time i don't at least in arceus i don't feel like there were a lot of good additions from the other generations in terms mm -hmm. of like the because there's only like 250 pokemon in arceus mm -hmm. and there's like 900 pokemon at this point mm -hmm. so that was my criticism like to me when i pick a pokemon i kind of base it off of like does it look cool you know and mm -hmm. i think a lot of my problem with a lot of pokemon games is like they just got uninventive and they don't look fun or interesting mm -hmm. and so so that's why I was just, you know, I'm like, yeah, I want the big ass water dragon. Of course I want that. That's an obvious thing. I don't want this weirdly shaped thing that I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm right there with you. Do you have a, a particular Pokemon that you hope gets announced? Uh, maybe type or whatever it is. Courtney, I know you want a new evolution. Is there any other kind I that do. you, is there any other kind of Pokemon that you want to see uh, on, on this, uh, on this region that might be announced type? I don't know. Mm. Mm, actually, you know what? I I don't I don't know what other kind of type of Pokemon I would like to see. I mean, I would like to see them be a little more innovative with better uh, better ghost type Pokemon. I want to see more. Uh, I want to see some stronger, uh, better mechanics for, for for different fairy types of Pokemon. I don't mm -hmm. know. I just kind of want to see uh, more diverse types and kind of make it a little bit so that it's it's more dynamic with gameplay. Mm -hmm. How about you? Yeah. Chris? What 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 i noticed in arceus was that they gave you some pokemon that were new type combinations yeah but i didn't feel like they were powerful enough or mm -hmm. uh worthwhile enough to actually add into your team yep. and like i don't i don't play pokemon competitively i'm just saying for me as you know to play through the game like i just felt that there were better you know better strengths um and stuff like they you know you get a ghost fairy but it's not great you know yeah, so yeah i'm right there i'm right there with courtney i also mm -hmm. think even though there's a million evolutions i think we should get some evolutions for the types that we don't have mm -hmm. so yep. ghost e a ghost ev a rock ev oh uh, dragon ev dragon ev fighting ev um, oh yes yeah give me a, a kung fu ev that stands on its hind legs you know what i mean yeah <laughs> so cute <laughs> <laughs> um uh jake is saying if if scarlet and violet gives us skiddo it'd be the best game ever because we haven't seen skiddos since x and y what uh i don't know um <laughs> fighting <laughs> eevee is just courtney in an eevee costume uh <laughs> according to uh shattered rift um kirby's saying i hope there's no gimmick to this gen and if there is i hope it's a good one uh i agree uh, you know, one thing that I, I kind of see as a work of improvement for Arceus is we need to bring back the ability to have your Pokemon hold stuff, I think. Um, they took yeah. that they took that away in Arceus, and I kind of I see myself wanting it in a more competitive type Pokemon. Also, what I'd like to see is a combination Pokemon and Pokemon Stadium Coliseum type of game where mm. you can have you can have if you are a competitive Pokemon player, you can have that ability easily um, built into the to the mainline Pokemon 
Pokemon game. That's what I'd like to see. I think it would it would bring a lot more competitiveness. That way, you're you want to build up the best team and that sort of stuff. Um, um, mm -hmm. And if maybe if you don't have the best teams, you can default to uh, to like everybody uses level sixties or whatever it was back then. So, mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Just a couple of thoughts. Uh, uh, you know, open world, uh, competitive for those who want it to be competitive. Great, great PVE for those who like stories and uh, yeah. Give us a good story. Give us a good story reminiscent of like gold and silver or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever, whatever other one you all thought was a good story. X and Y. I don't know. Yeah. For story. I hope it's not just, I'm trying to become a Pokemon master. I want there to be like a B plot where something's going on. Like I like an Arceus that you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, build the first Pokedex, but you're also trying to solve the mystery of why you fell out of the sky mm -hmm. and why mm -hmm. all the other Pokemon are acting weird. So I, I like that. I want it to be more than just, Hey, I'm trying to go from a to B and I want a compelling, like secondary, you know, B plot. Yeah. And yeah. Then, the other thing I will say that with all the positives, my one negative is I, I do wish that they would take a year off or something and actually put, you know, Hi. I don't know. How, yeah, I don't know how long they've been developing this, obviously, but I think you can only benefit from having more time to work on something. Mm -hmm. And I know that's not going to happen. I just I wish it was. And mm -hmm. uh, that it sort of makes me worried about, you know, because, John, you were talking about, like, you know, having a coliseum to go battle in or something like mm -hmm. that. I feel like we, you know, those are the kind of things that might get passed over you know trying to crank them out yearly so mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. so but i guess i guess they could have been working out this uh, on this since sword and shield which is three four years old three years old at this point so mm -hmm. that is true yeah I'm, I, I this is developed by game freak i don't know anything about arceus and its development but was game freak involved in arceus can't answer the question I don't know. Go to, go to talkltd.com forward slash you're wrong. <laughs> uh, because, that, I mean, that was a big deal, obviously, Game Freak being involved in this again. Uh, uh, Game Freak is involved in Arceus. Okay. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how big their team is if they were split in so many different directions. Or maybe they worked on both at the same time, and that's why they look very similar. Maybe. Oh, that could be cool. Yeah. I mean, I think it's interesting because it definitely seemed like Arceus was a gamble for for them yeah. in terms of like what they were planning on doing so if they were developed simultaneously they were i think that i think that's a huge gamble to be like i hope this hits you know mm -hmm. what i mean yeah and jake, uh, jake it, in chat says that game freak does have two teams so that probably um okay. is why they were able to produce two games so, so quickly one worked okay. on arceus and the other has has been working on uh uh, um, uh, uh scarlet and violet mm -hmm. okay so yeah. to wrap this up i'm yes. gonna pull up and the starters real okay. quick and then i'm gonna ask us uh to name what... them we oh <laughs> yeah to name them uh, I'm, gonna send the, I'm gonna send the link in the chat here and then we're gonna say what color we want and what starter or uh what starter we want all right here we go i'm gonna pop it up in here and oh man we're gonna, okay we're gonna go to okay hold on uh desktop scene all right, first on the list. Oh, they already have names. <laughs> they have names yeah. and they're cute. Sprigatito. <laughs> oh, that's that's Italian if I've ever seen it. Sprig Sprigatito. Sprigatito. Gatito, gatito means little cat in Spanish and could also probably mean oh. it in Italian too. And they put sprig, which is, you know, sp sprig. A like, sprig of, like a a sprig of time. Yeah. A sprig of time. So sprig, sprig cat. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Grass, grass cat. Grass Fuey cat. Coco. Fuey Coco for the red one. Fu Fue. Fue. I think it's Fue. Fue. Fue, Fue like fire. Fue Coco. Okay. I think you were right on when you said it looks like it's Italian. Italian. Yeah. Italy, John. And of course, yep. Quaxley. Uh, <laughs> that's definitely Italian. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking duck. Look, look at how he's standing. That's an Italian motherfucking <laughs> duck right there. That's an Italian duck. <laughs> His, right. his pompadour head hairstyle, you know what I mean? All right, Courtney, uh, we'll start with you. Uh, oh, you get man. Scarlet or Violet, and what's your starter? Knowing me, because I don't know which uh, game is going to have what exclusives to it, I'm probably going to be broke, but I'm going to probably try to get both. Okay. Um, because what I do is, uh, you know, I, I uh, purposely had a kid, so that way he can play the other game and we'll <laughs> trade with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll probably get both. But mom, I hate Pokemon. You're gonna play it. You're gonna like it. <laughs> I need to evolve my so. honor. 
<laughs> but um, I'll probably get both. Um, and uh, starter. It's hard because I'm really, I really love how cute the the sprigatito is. But I tend to uh, get a uh, fire start with fire fire types. Yeah. And and the the fire croc. But see, what's probably gonna end up determining it for me is see, <laughs> is the uh, the fire croc. Uh huh. Fire croc. <laughs> <laughs> is is seeing what their evolutions look like yeah that's really what's going to be the determining factor for me is is the yeah so it's either between sprigatito or F F F F Coco. okay John. yeah uh i want all three look um this is very <laughs> hard uh i always since i was a kid uh, would go with the fire type that's just how i played mm -hmm. um Same. He is a little apple. He looks like a little apple, you know. Um, he's very cute. Uh, with his tooth. With his with his one tooth. Uh, <laughs> but look at that! Look at that cat, though. You know what I mean? Like if I were a Pokemon trainer, like, and I had that cat on my shoulder while I went, you know, went across mm -hmm. the land, I'd feel fucking awesome. Right. There's something about Quaxley that just kind of like makes me go, oh, like I think it's because he's a duck. Duck. <laughs> I think I think ducks are great animals, and I think they make great yes. Pokemon types. But, mm -hmm. um, I don't. Oh man, I'm gonna have to choose one chat, and I don't know which one I'm gonna choose. Um, uh, I'm actually gonna look to chat right now to see who they're gonna pick. Uh, no. A lot, of, a lot of people for the duck. Oh, can I say one thing though? Yeah. My fear with Sprigatito. So, uh the fear I had is when they had um, the the cat, the fi the fir the first uh, the fire cat starter. Sure. And then it, they made it by it, they made it bipedal as its final evolution. That pissed me off. I wanted mm -hmm. a full on like I wanted it to stay a quadruped cat, fire mm -hmm. cat, and then they made it into a fucking wrestler cat. Which yeah. Sorry, Kirby. I'm sure you loved that it was a wrestler cat. Incineroar, yeah. I think. But I didn't. I didn't want that. I wanted yeah. it to stay on all four legs. L Litten had the best name. It, it did, and it was cute. All, all Pokemon I've ever. <laughs> the Litten was a great really name. cute, and then the yeah. second evolution evolution was really cute, and then I was upset because then they changed it completely and went a completely different route for the final evolution. You know what? With that in mind, I'm probably gonna go with Foy Coco. Foy Coco looks like he could just get cooler. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. All right, that's, that's my choice. <laughs> that's that for this Incineroar. All standard. right, I'm gonna do mine, and then I gotta get going. Sounds good. Uh, real quick, so I am definitely picking Pokemon Scarlet, regardless of what type is in there. And look, I'm tired of the slander. I don't feel like any any water starters have been good um, since <laughs> since Squirtle, but I'm yep. I'm definitely going with Sprigatito for for sure. So over oh, the cat, Perfect. yeah. The f okay, uh, unless unless. I really do like Foy Coco. If his evolutions are are cool, I might go with him. But Sprigatito right off the bat. I think that uh, that's a, a great lineup for all of us. And with that, chat, thank you all so much for joining us for this impromptu stream. I think this was a lot of thank fun. You. I we're we're hyped. I mean, yeah. we're, we're absolutely hyped. Join us on Thursday. We'll probably talk more. We'll probably talk more Pokemon on Thursday. What do you we think? We will join us again on Thursday. Thank you, everybody. All right. Have a good night, everyone. Or wait, no, it's daytime. Have a good day, it's everyone. Daytime. All right. Bye. Bye.